specify primary ledger options. So let's go back to the Fusion Cloud and I'm going to show you how you can specify the ledger options in relation to the primary ledger which we have just created. So here we are and before we proceed ahead, I'm going to quickly show you the release and version we are on. So we are on release 13 as you could see and on 23D which is uh, the latest version according to my knowledge. So I'm going to click on close and I'm going to go and type in search task ledger options and here am I in terms of uh, specifying primary ledger options. So click on this hyperlink and here you choose the ledger or ledger options and here you choose the primary ledger. So select an ad and then you say apply and go to task. So you choose orange primary ledger and click on select and save and close. Okay, so these are uh, the ledger options for the orange primary ledger wherein the currency is New Zealand dollars. So as you could see accounting calendar that we chose was April 24. So number of uh, future and interval period is one and uh, sub ledger accounting, accounting method is standard accrual, language. So you choose uh, American English and then uh, retained earning account, cumulative. Uh, so you know what these accounts we have not defined as yet. So I think we got to define this account and uh, come back. So what we'll do is we'll quickly define these accounts which includes the retained earning accounts and uh, then you've got the suspense account, rounding account, uh, entered currency, balancing account and so on. So I'm going to take a screenshot of this and then we'll uh, come back to this after we de define all those uh, accounts. Okay. So having said that, I'm going to go back uh, and take a screenshot first. So basically, I've taken a screenshot and, and go back to value set values. And I'm going to have to define the values for accounts and uh, that must be specifically the retained earning account. So here I am, I manage values, hit the search button and here all the values that I have. But in addition to that, I got to define the retained earnings account. So I have to go back to my Excel file. So I will hit the find button and search for retained earnings account. Here I am. So I'm going to have to choose this one and then go back to Oracle applications. It's a, uh, it's an owner's equity account. And uh, the financial category is equity, if there is one. Uh, let's go back now. And the file, the category is earnings. I'm going to go back and choose earnings. Let's see if there is one. Okay, so it looks like uh, it's not there. Okay, never mind. So we'll save this. Uh, account as it is okay and i'm going to go back to excel file and this account will mark it 
in yellow so so that you know there is no confusion later on like this okay we i think we have not done that instead we have worked on this one yeah and uh, so that way we'll have retained earnings account and let's go back to the screenshot that we have taken so here's a screenshot which uh, contains the other accounts suspense account rounding account currency balance account so let's see whether there is a suspense account okay and uh, in fact those are all optional but uh, we got to give it let's see We have this so let's define this account so I've defined all these accounts uh, the suspense account rounding account uh, currency balancing account so this this part is over I'm gonna jump on to this uh, screenshot so you have uh, suspense account rounding account currency balance account and i'm going to go into this one now retained earnings account cumulative translation adjustment account so let me see whether i have that one or not so it looks like i don't have it but uh, never mind we can simply go ahead and define the other accounts okay so i'm going to go and jump on to fusion applications okay so here are the accounts that i have just defined i'm going to click on save and close to save it and then once again save and close and then i will go and look for specify ledger options okay and uh, here we are so i'm going to click on general language which is american english and retain earnings account so we got to find out the one so the company is orange company the department This the account. Okay, so that's how you have to give. Hit the OK button. So that it can generate a combination dynamically. And likewise, you come down. And here you've got in terms of balancing, you whether to enable suspense account, subliter accounting. Uh, so these are the options that you've got to select but let's first uh, select the suspense account okay i would say so we enable the suspense account only then suspense account will come into picture so choose this account And hit the OK button. And likewise, you choose the rounding account. okay and then you've got uh, currency balancing account 
let's see if you've got it over here. Looks like you don't have that balancing account. Let's go back and check if it is there or not. Yeah, search it over here. No, I don't think it's there. So let's go back to the Excel. So I think we are done with all that. And if you want to enable journal approval, you can enable it over here. But I'm going to leave it now. Yeah. That pitch balance. Uh, so all that, you know, I'm going to leave it. Sequencing, I would say, in terms of uh, uh, the ledger and here the document sequencing is uh, for payables and receivables. And with all that, I'm going to click on save and close. So this time it's going to close. The value of uh, attribute suspense account is invalid. Okay. Suspense account. Okay, so I fixed that uh, suspense account. There was a minor uh, uh, issue in terms of setting uh, the suspense account, but I've just fixed that and uh, now it is accepting it so after that i'm going to hit the save and close button to save and close it and let's see whether uh, whether this uh, helps okay so that's great and now the next step is uh, we have to proceed ahead and link uh, the legal entity and the primary lecture